So, I'll be talking about the glyoxylate cycle, which plants and bacteria use to gain energy from acetyl-CoA. Um, in SEN textbooks, you may see the author saying this occurs in glyoxosomes, but this is essentially just a peroxisome. It's similar to the citric acid cycle in that it starts with a molecule of oxaloacetate binding with acetyl-CoA and water to give a molecule of citrate. This is a hydrogenation reaction and is catalyzed by citrate synthase. Citrate is then isomerized by the enzyme aconitase to give a molecule of isocitrate. So isocitrate is then cleaved by the enzyme isocitrate lysase to give succinate, which is one of the useful compounds gained from this reaction, and glyoxylate, which continues the reaction. Glyoxylate is then bound with another molecule of acetyl-CoA and water to give a molecule of malate. This is catalyzed by the enzyme malate synthase. Malate is then oxidized using NAD as an oxidizing agent and malate dehydrogenase catalyzed the reaction, giving NADH, a hydrogen ion, and regenerating oxaloacetate, which starts the cycle again, uh, repeating itself. So the two useful products you get are NADH and succinate. Um, NADH and succinate go onto the electron transport chain in the mitochondria, uh, both being oxidized for energy, NADH donating its electrons into the electron transport chain. Succinate, on the other hand, is used in the Krebs cycle, which reacts with ubiquinone um, and another enzyme producing ubiquinol and fumarate. Um, so that's all. Thanks for listening.